name is Scott Barry Kaufman, and this is my friend Figgy. Hello! <laughs> so, I am a researcher. I study creativity and imagination. I like to come from uh, multiple perspectives, like developmental psychology, positive psychology, um, cognitive science, how the brain works, trying to integrate all these different perspectives. I do think that in education, business, um, lots of environments where we manage people and we're trying to um, have people produce or, or, or work, uh, we leave out all the important aspects of um, positive psychology, a lot of aspects that are really the activators of possibility. And we focus a lot on, um, on these kinds of what we call cognitive abilities or cognitive traits, things like intelligence or IQ and um, uh, literacy and logical reasoning and rationality and the ability to, um, you know, deliberate practice as it's talked about a lot and how to do a, a, a direct sequence or get to where you want to go in a very prescribed fashion and, you know, working really hard to do that. But when you look at creativity and you look at the greatest creative geniuses of all time, you find a lot of them were, uh, were they didn't really have quite a linear path to getting from, uh, from the great vision they had to the creative outcome. What they tend to have is what I call messy minds. You know, creative people are, uh, are able to, they're very adaptable, so they're able to mix and match lots of different seemingly incompatible traits and behaviors and characteristics that you don't often tend to see in a single person. You know, most people are either introverted or extroverted or, or, um, or tend to be more intuitive or more rational thinkers or tend to be very good at mindfulness or tend to be the daydreamers. And you find that creative people mix and match lots of stuff so they know when to be really mindful of their surroundings and really observant and they also know when to go within and, and, and think about their own daydreams and think about their own um, visions of the future and, and, and figure out in how to integrate all these different things. Um, also creative people are really good at going beyond what is to um, seeing what could be and also realizing what could be in ways that a lot of other people never thought would be possible. And that's what I find personally very interesting when, when I study creative people is being able to see how they are able to have some sort of vision of a reality that doesn't currently exist and um, many of us intuitively call that imagination, you know. I love imagination. Okay. Um, so <laughs> imagination is really, really important. And I think it was really undervalued in an educational, uh, it's, I would say it's undervalued in our society at large. You know, we don't uh, measure for imagination. We're picking gifted and talented students in education. When you're applying to college, you're not required to submit um, uh, um, uh, some sort of um, metric of your imagination or your future vision of what could be. Um, when you apply for businesses, you often don't, although there are definitely exceptions. Um, so we clearly don't value it as much as we, as I think we should. Imagination is a necessary but not sufficient condition for creativity. Um, creativity also requires the ability to control your cognition, to really think um, about your audience and think about what what really works out there in the real world. What kind of, you know, you can have a very overactive imagination, like I do, I have a very overactive imagination, but probably like 80% of my um, ideas are uh, total crap. So it's really important to um, to really sort out the ones that are just, you know, like, okay, well, that version of reality or education probably won't work from those that, you know what, there might be a possibility there of taking that one, calling that one, and really developing that. So like I said, all this really is tied into that messy minds idea. You know, creative people aren't characterized by their um, consistency. Uh, they're characterized by their variability. They're characterized by their, trial, their, their ability and willingness to have lots of trial and error, their ability to um, not be hindered by what is, okay? Because we often reward people in, in the world who um, do what people ask them to do or, or, you know, like, good job, you got an A, you learned that, that paper. But creative people aren't characterized by that. They're characterized by the ability to inhibit the pressure to conform and to go beyond to what could be.